There's partial participation and total participation. Until now, we've been talking about partial. And every time we use the word N for many or one, we really meant zero or one or zero to many. Um, so for example, if we look at the first case, here we have the relationship between employees working in a factory. And it reads, each employee works at zero or one factories because it's a one, but it's zero or one. And if we read it backwards, it's each factory has zero or more employees working working there. Um, and that's okay in this scenario, but let's go to another one. What if we want to keep track of the manages relationship? So here, we want to keep track of the relationship between employee managing um, a factory. So here we have uh, something that's called total participation. So what is the difference? And I'm going to read you the examples, but I'm actually going to explain it first. So total is mandatory. We say we don't want the case of zero. No, you need to, you don't, we can't have the case of zero. Um, and if you can't have the case of zero, you use the double lines. So let's read it. If we read it the first way, it reads like the way we would expect. Each employee manages zero or one factories. Well, that makes sense. You know, you either don't manage you have, or you have zero or you've managed one. Great. But if we read it the reverse now, because of these double lines, we have to read it a little differently. Each factory has exactly one employee managing it. So each factory has exactly one employee managing it. They can't have zero. If you wanted to pick the relationship that it's not possible that when you're designing your database, you're always gonna make sure there is an employee managing it. It's never gonna be zero. You can put these double lines here and these double lines depict this relationship, um, depict that the relationship is um, not read the way we would read it in the above case, but now it's read a little bit differently. And now what we're really referring to is that there's exactly one. If we had double lines by n, it means you can't be zero. Um, so this is something that we are are going to, you know, see more of and you're going to hear more of, um, but it's the difference between partial and total participation. So let me show you a bigger example. This bigger example actually just puts it all together. So here we have the relationship between factory and employee, but actually it's interesting because sometimes you think there should only be one relationship, but in this case, there's two relationships we want to keep track of. The works at, because employees work in a factory, we want to keep track of that. And we also want to keep track of the manager's relationship that um, employees manage factories. And here we have two different relationships. It's not the same relationship. And in one case, we have employees working at, you know, one or zero factories and factories have zero or more employees. And that's this relationship. And in the other way, we have the managers where we say employees um, manage zero or one factories and a factory is managed by exactly one employee. So this is a little bit to tell you about total and partial participation.